good evening, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. I'm Jansen, and I'm with my wife, Ying. Good evening, everyone. And we are with uh, Pastor Xavier and Tina of Victory Santa Rosa. Hi, Save Tina. Hi, Tina. Hello. Hello. Good evening, good evening. Pastor Jansen. Good evening, Ying. Good evening sa lahat ng mga kasama natin ngayon dito sa ating webinar. And uh, for sure, uh, lahat tayo no, excited to listen and to know kung ano ba talaga kung, or kung paano, no, uh, especially ngayong uh, season na to that uh, everything uh, change uh, the way we used to do. Uh, especially in our uh, or how we can uh, teach our children. That's true, Pastor Xavier. No? This is really, uh, we made this webinar primarily because parents today have a very important concern and it causes so much anxiety now that we know that wow, school will be online and parents have to do something. So this is really a totally new ball game for all the parents now. Kaya we've uh, we made this webinar somehow, no? We want to be able to speak and talk about certain facts in online education and parents helping their children with their education so that these facts, meaning knowing them, will help dissipate fear, anxiety, and worry, no? Mm -hmm. Yun ang gagawin natin. Tama? Yes, we hope that we can be able to encourage and enlighten those parents who are uh, online tonight so that um kasi di ba new it's a new normal yeah. a new normal so um i'm sure that there are a lot of concerns from all of you and we are hoping that um this webinar will be able to help you in some ways if you have any questions uh you can you can uh, write it down on the comments below so we will be able to have a question and answer portion. Xavier Tina, Keo, what do you think? Kayo ba nako-concern ngayon with the incoming school year? O sanay na kayo sa, ano, I believe kayong dalawa nag-homeschooling, no? Tama ba? Yes, we've been homeschooling for two years na. So yung, ang, ang ano namin is yung, yung routine talaga na build na namin over time. Kaya yun yung important namin at oh. this time. So yun. so yun nga, I'm sure marami din questions yung mga ano viewers natin ngayon. No? Yes. So, uh, and uh, hello, good evening sa inyong lahat na nanonood. Thank you for taking time to watch uh, this webinar. Uh, I know yung a lot of parents have questions uh, uh, about how to do this, especially yung mga parents na from uh, traditional schools, from regular school, they're sending their kids to school ngayon, sila na yung magtuturo. So I'm sure marami kayong mga questions. So yun nga, if you have any questions, you can write it down. And so, hello sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. So, ito, nakita ko nanonood. Si, ano, si, hi to Jovi yan. From you, Belt pa yan. Nanonood siya sa atin ngayon. So, so is, yeah. she a, is she a parent already? Ano, wanting to be a parent. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, that's so, awesome nag, good. Nag, ano siya, nagpa-prepare na siya for, ano, for, <laughs> for the future. Yan. So, and, and also sa mga uh, victory group namin, yan. Hello, thank you for uh, tuning in. Yan. <laughs> tuning in. Uh -oh. Ako, I'd like to thank Laguna Water for my, ano, water in the end. <laughs> but, uh, by the way, no, say, Tina, uh, Kami ni Ging naman, we have four kids. Three of them are adults. And we homeschooled our three what adults. What are the ages? Ano may ages nung okay. anak natin? Okay, Andy is already turning 23. Graduate <laughs> na siya. Ang tandaan natin. Grad graduate na siya. Uh, just, ano, recently. And then our second daughter is uh, Julia. Uh, turning 21. Sophomore naman siya in college. And then our third is Jaime. Senior high school. And then our youngest, our bunso, is uh, U1. He's uh, turning grade 4. Grade four but 10 you, years old. Ay, yeah, nine lang pala. Nine, sorry, nine. nine. But we homeschooled uh, yung tatlo naming mm. older kids, which are all adults already. And naghati kami, no? Ang favorite subject ko na tinuturo is recess, lunch, and PE. <laughs> yeah, sa akin yun. <laughs> Parang pareho kayo ni, ano, ni Sid, Pastor Jansen. Yan yung favorite niya ito. <laughs> No, but I'm very excited, no? Yes. Uh, Pastor Xavier Tina. And for everyone, we're very excited uh, for our two speakers, no? And hopefully, it will bring encouragement, as mentioned by Ling. It will bring inspiration 
And if you have any questions, as we mentioned earlier, just put it on the comment box below. Comment. We'll be, we hopefully will be able to answer at many of them. Kung hindi kaya, but even after this webinar, if you still have questions, just uh, go to our Facebook. Uh, dito sa Facebook uh, page ng Victory Santa Rosa, and we'll put up a Q&A portion for this specific webinar. Yes. Also, we've placed, we will be placing our email addresses. Yes, later. Later on. Yes. And our FB names. Uh, so you can also message us if ever hindi masagot yung mga questions na later. I guess that's it. I know. Siguro it's good yeah. to dive into our yes. ano, <laughs> dive into our webinar. So, Pastor Xavier, Tina? Yes. Uh, si Tina yung mag-introduce sa first speaker natin. And so, our first speaker is Ms. Chichi Tanko, and we're excited to hear from her. And she began homeschooling nine years ago when they started to teach uh, their kids from preschool to early grade school. So, when she gave, she gave birth to their youngest, they enrolled their kids in a progressive school for two years while she served as a coordinator, part-time teacher, and advisor of the senior high school department of their kids' school. And after two years, they decided to embark on a new challenge and adventure of independently homeschooling their three dynamic kids. Um, si Yumiko, which is 13 years old, Yuzo, which is 10, and their youngest is Shinji, which is uh, 7 years old. So uh, she is the wife of Pastor Miko Tanko, who recently joined our team here in uh, Victory Santa Rosa. So now let's welcome Ms. Chichi Tanko. Hi, Tina. Thank you very much for the uh, very welcoming at heartwarming na uh, introduction. Uh, kamusta po kayo? Uh, it's such a privilege and a delight for me to be able to share being a pe parent teacher myself sa mga fellow parent teachers ko po. Uh, alam niyo po, ang family po namin, uh, we recently moved to Santa Rosa just like what uh, Tina said, no? Uh, kung mapapansin ninyo nga, yung background niya, no, Valley. And uh, before the quarantine happened, mga two days po, yung, yung picture na yan, two days after we moved here. And the, that's a week before the quarantine happened. So, ang galing lang po talaga ng timing at ng ways ni Lord, no? Kung paano niya nagawa na makalipat kami and may experience pa namin yung ganda at yung uh, experiences na magagawa sa New Valley even before we were uh, confined to the four corners of our of our house and iba talaga yung season po na pinagdadaanan natin ngayon ano actually uh, maraming plans na hindi na push through di ba pero kung iisipin niyo po uh, from a believer's point of view this season is very challenging indeed pero very pivotal po in the history of uh, the whole uh, globally and even for our nation and for us as families. So, tayo nga po mga parents, di ba? As if parenting is not that hard in itself, but now having to adjust to the new normal, which includes everything from work from home, mga webinar, di ba? Ngayon, we find ourselves not just as parents, but as parent teachers. So, paano po ba natin maximize yung role natin as parent-teacher? So, what are the principles you need to keep in mind? Uh, Tamang-tama po habang uh, ginagawa natin yung school at home. So, unang-una po, we parent-teachers need to be deliberate and intentional. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Diba? Of course, we need to be deliberate and intentional in the way that we live. But more importantly, as parent-teachers, because parents in this day and age, have been given the golden opportunity and time to be able to teach our children, not just as their parents, but even as their teachers. So, hindi po made available yung ganitong opportunity to uh, previous generations, ano po, uh, globally, I, well, nationwide. Ganun po yung decision ng government that we need to do school at home. And as parent teachers po, we need to relish that. Bakit ba? Ano ba yung purpose ni Lord? Di ba kailangan natin ma-discover? Let's read in Proverbs 22 verse 6. Ang sabi po dito, 
sa amplified version po, yung babasahin natin, train up a child in the way that he should go. So when you say train po kasi, it denotes a leadership function. We need to lead our children and raise them up that they may progress from one level of knowledge or uh, proficiency to another level. So, uh, kung isipin natin, teka muna, hindi naman ako ganun kagaling magturo. Iniiwan ko lang yan sa school, tapos pinipick up ko. Now, uh, kung titignan po natin yung training, katulad ni naman ni Pacquiao, di ba, yung mga UFC fighters, yung mga athletes po, hindi lang po minsan, hindi lang po isa ang trainer yan. May trainer yan for uh, uh, cardio nila, or si Manny Pacquiao, yung sa pag-box niya, boxing style. Uh, as parents po, huwag po tayo ma-overwhelm. Uh, alam po ni Lord kung ano po yung limitation natin. Di ba? Kung ano lang po yung maibibigay natin sa anak natin. Uh, actually, I am very thankful that in this day and age, meron na pong YouTube, meron na pong Google, meron na pong communities even. Mapapansin niyo po yan online na marami ng communities that are being put up to help support parent teachers like us as we go through these adjustments so wag po tayo mag over magpa overwhelm but we need to prepare ourselves mentally and emotionally sa mga pagdadaanan po natin as parent teachers at ang mga anak natin paano natin sila ma um, assist no po at the same time uh, kung iisipin natin ano yung uh, parang pamamaraan kung paano ko siya i-raise up, di ba? Ang sabi dito, in the way he should go. Uh, let's not mistake in the way he should go as humanistic. Hindi po ito oh, kung ano yung palagay ng anak ko, magaling siya, dun tayo. Hindi po. It simply means we need to celebrate their individuality. Yung learner po ay merong God-given uniqueness. Kung paano sila matuto, kung saan sila uh, malakas, kung saan sila week, uh, doon po tayo pumasok. Let's help them and guide them. Let's maximize po kung ano po yung mismong design para sa kanya ni Lord. Di ba? Uh, tayo po mga Pilipino, very big sa atin ang Christmas. Uh, kung iisipin po natin in five, five months, Christmas na, di ba? Uh, iisipin natin, uh, paano kaya kung makatanggap ako ng dalawa, tatlo, Pare-parehong regalo. Same brand, same uh, color, same model. Di ba parang, ha? Yan na naman. Di ba? Uh, actually, yung mga anak po natin, gift sa atin yan ni Lord. And uh, unique po sila, bawat isa. At it's a very interesting privilege to be able to unwrap those gifts with each passing day. At madiskubri po natin, Uh, paano ba sila ginawa ni Lord, di ba? It's so uh, amazing how creative God is. And we discover that also as we look at our children. So pag train po natin, paano pong gagawin natin? Uh, further on, it says teaching him to seek God's wisdom and will for his abilities and talents. So this makes me ask myself, how can I teach my child how to seek God? And Uh, I just called to mind, ano, meron pong recent experience na nangyari sa amin nung ino-homeschool ko po yung anak ko. And uh, nagulat nga ako nung mag-progress uh, check na kami. When we were, parang checkpoint na check ko kung ano na yung nakuha niya dun sa lessons niya. And this very compliant child, uh, parang uneasy siya. So parang, ano, ano, bakit kaya? Usually, nakaupo lang yan, nagbabasa. Uh, and then I asked, are you feeling okay? Uh, is everything okay? Tapos bigla niya po akong hinag and na medyo naiyak po siya. Sabi niya, I, uh, Mama, I don't want you to be disappointed. I don't want you to be sad. But I really can't get my lesson. I tried it three, four times. I still can't get it. And I stopped po. And I just hugged him. And I said, uh, Son, I'm not disappointed. And I am not angry. I am actually thankful that you told me these things. And I'm here to help you out. And we prayed for it po. And at the same time, I asked him, especially during those times that you feel you're discouraged, you seek God because God can give you the wisdom that you need. And I was so thankful afterwards na, Lord, 
kung teacher yun na maraming estudyante, baka hindi na niya makatch yung teaching moment na yun to encourage my child. But me, as a parent, I have the ability to point him back to you na learning is not just with the ability of the child, but as he seeks you for wisdom, as he seeks you for the things that you uh, have are uh, preparing for his life, Lord, makikita niya kung ano yung dapat niyang daan. So, uh, as parent po, as parents and parent teachers, we are in that unique position. Let us use every challenge to learn with our kids how to seek God's wisdom. And with every difficulty, let us allow ourselves and our kids to learn how to seek God's will. Kasi doon po natin makikita at doon po natin matutunan yung lessons that are more than academics. Academics is important, but life lessons are more lasting or are, will stick with them for the rest of their lives. So, ma-encourage po kayo kasi ginawa po ni Lord yan na paraan na kayo mismo will be able to speak into the lives of your children. So, ano pa po yung assurance natin going further on into the scripture? It says, when he is old, he will not depart from it. So, even as parent teachers, lalo na po pag medyo challenge na challenge na tayo, ang dami namin iniisip. Iniisip po pa, I'm working from home, I'm doing these things. Di ba? Uh, whether you are just praying to get through the school year or whether you are uh, deciding to do it in the long haul, let us really grab this gift. Kasi yung sineset po natin na foundations sa mga anak natin will stick for them, will stick with them for the rest of their lives. And if all you get to do right now is instill a love for God and a passion for learning, then malaki na po yung maitutulong nyo for their lifelong journey in their education. Uh, so, uh, aside from that po, ano pa ba yung iisipin natin as parent-teachers? Okay? Uh, number two, parent-teachers need to always proceed from a heart of love. So, yan po yung motivation natin, kumbaga. Kailangan parati tayo motivated by love. Pero, paano po ba? Ano po ba ang love? Ba, uh, isipin po natin kung ano yung pinaka authority and let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verses uh, chapter 13 rather verses 4 to 8 it says love never gives up so yung mga mommies and daddies lalo na po pag hirap na hirap na ang dami kong gagawin ang dami kong iniisip medyo may problema pa financially don't give up because God loves you and God has given that love for your children through you. Okay? So, love cares more for others than self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut. It doesn't have a swelled head. Doesn't force itself on others. Isn't always me first. Lalo na po sa mga mamis na makukulangan ng me time. <laughs> Yan po. Okay? Also, it doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, doesn't ple uh, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth and puts up with anything. Uh, lalo na po dun sa mga trying times. Ito po yung importante, parents. Trust God always. Always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. At the end of the day po, especially in the most challenging of times, we will, we will never fail as parents and as teachers to teach our kids well if we come from a heart of love. So let us allow the unconditional love and the overflowing love of God to flow from our hearts to our kids, no matter what the challenge may be. So as, uh, as I end po, I would like to uh, just pray for the parents right now. You may be experiencing uh, challenges dito sa bagong norm po. Or maaaring uh, marami kayong hindi pa alam. Gusto ko, gusto ko lang po kayong i-assure that there are people who are willing to stand with you in this. Uh, we are very willing to uh, help you out po dito sa uh, pag-adjust nyo po sa new norm. And at the same time, I believe I'm claiming, Lord, uh, by faith that the Lord will bring people your way who would help you and who would guide you po 
kung kailangan step by step, magagawa po natin yan together. Lord, we thank you for each parent here. We ask for your grace. We ask for your wisdom to be upon them na mapagdesisyonan po nila kung ano po yung akma para sa family nila. Gawin, uh, tulungan niyo po sila na makagawa ng paraan para po ma-continue yung education ng mga kids nila knowing full well, Lord, that you are in control, that you are not limited by any pandemic, that you are not limited by any situation or maging limitations namin as parents. We even uh, lift up to you all the parents who are uh, praying for finances sa darating na school year. Lord, maraming salamat, Panginoon. Lord, that you are the owner of the cattle of a thousand hills. Lord, hindi po uh, recession sa inyo. Lord, in your economy. Lord, we commit these parents into your hands. I pray for fresh hope to come from you. I pray for fresh, uh, uh, even in feeling of your vision, dun sa binigay niyo pong responsibility na, namin as parents. Lord, as parents, as a representative, Lord, of these parents, we dedicate our families afresh to you. And we trust you, Lord, that no pandemic would ever thwart your plans for our children and your plans for our families, Lord. We trust you completely. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Ms. Thank Gigi, you, for, Ms. That, Gigi. for that wonderful ano, encouragement and even that prayer for all the parents. No? So ako talagang na-refresh na ako, na-remind ako uh, as I listen to you, yung, for us na parents to be uh, motivated by love talaga. Na, na we're doing these things out of our love for our, for our children. Hindi dahil, alam mo yun, na, na, na pwersa lang tayo to teach our kids at yes. home. But also to really pour out yung yung love natin sa kanila and in, in, even now is the time for us no parents to build our relationship for our children na kung dati parang pasok sila school uwi tapos pag uwi minsan the assignment pa so minsan limited mm-hmm. yung time to build yung yung for interaction to to uh, make connections with them pero let's use this time to now is the time to build the relationship uh, with yes. them and alam mo may remember nila tong time na to na hindi dahil it's it's a scary thing because of the pandemic mm. they would remember this as a as a time na uh, ito yung time na mas nakapag-spend time ako with my parents kasi tinuruan nila ako during this time and who knows baka mas ma-enjoy right. pa to ng anak niyo na Mag- magtagal pa na sabihin lang mami next year gusto ko ulit mm. <laughs> so yun <Ito> yes <laughs> yeah, sa akin naman ano, I like yung ano yung uh, first point no about uh, uh, as a parent teacher need to be ano deliberate and uh, intentional so in this time no uh, yes maybe uh, nasanay tayo traditional yung what we do uh, at home uh, especially when it comes to our children So parang it is our time now to uh, create something no uh, maybe uh, activities that uh, we can uh, do uh, to spend more time with our children yung meaningful talaga no um, mm-hmm. sometimes we treat as a uh, kumbaga yung quality time kapag magbakasyon lang mm-hmm. or may pinuntahan kayo na uh, nag beach kayo ganoon uh, but uh, you know uh, yung quality time it can be also uh, this season no na yung mga anak natin nasa bahay lang talaga. So, we need to be uh, deliberate and intentional. So, again, no, uh, thank you, uh, Miss Titi, for you, uh, encouraging us. No? And di pa alis si Miss Titi mamaya. Makasama pa rin natin siya for uh, the question and answer. So, if you have questions, uh, you can uh, share, comment uh, dito po sa page natin. And mamaya, entertain natin yung mga questions nyo. And uh, also, no, just to a few uh, reminders lang, no. Maybe uh, if you feel like it is helpful, uh, helpful for you, uh, yung uh, webinar na ito. Uh, hindi hindi lang ngayon to yung webinar na to, no. But uh, you can also con- continue to share, no. Uh, pwede rin nilang panoorin, uh, i-replay nila or i- i- kung bakak i-play nila ulit yung video natin. I- pwede nyo parin siyang i-share, no, sa mga Uh, especially mga kaibigan natin or uh, relatives natin uh, who are parents now. And now to uh, hindi pa tayo tapos na no? meron pa for the second half of our webinar no yes. La, uh, yung second speaker natin will be introduced by Pastor Jansen and Ting. Hey darling, it's a privilege for for us to introduce our next speaker. 
Wednesday for our second half of the webinar. Our speaker has been, has been an educator since 1994. She graduated AB Psychology from University of South Florida and finished her master's degree on early childhood education at Boston College 1999. She, current, she current, currently runs a preschool and big school in Alabang and Cavite, switching them both to an online distance learning for the entire year. Sherry has been married to Hansko, a businessman, and are blessed with three lovely daughters. Samantha, who's 20 years old. Sabrina, Sabrina Naman is 18. And Sophia is 14 years old. She also used to be a homeschool mom. We were together in homeschooling uh, of her two older daughters during their early days, early years, uh, before she, she was able to put up her progressive school. And now let's all welcome and hear it from teacher Sherry Ko. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you, King, for that nice introduction. And I'm very honored to be here tonight to speak to all of you, um, my fellow parent teachers. Um, I'm speaking here um, to you tonight, not as an expert in distance learning, but um, as a mom and also as an educator for 26 years. You know, all of the schools now have really no choice but to transition to distance learning for this year and hopefully not, pero baka in another, for another year pa after this, depending on the situation. No? And right now, all of us may be weighing our options of uh, what to do um, for our children's schooling. You know, um, we're all on the fence maybe deciding which modali learning modality to take. Um, but education really doesn't have to stop because of this global pandemic. Um, even if, if uh, many of us are unsure of our future and a lot of us are anxious um, thinking of the consequences um, to our children's education because of this whole situation, we just have to accept that this is really our new normal, di ba po? And it is what it is, but we're not helpless against it. You know, in the words of Robert Hutchins, um, the he said that the object of education is to prepare the young to educate themselves throughout their lives. Educate themselves, di ba? Hindi yung to be fed education and throughout their lives because, it, because education, um, learning never stops, right? No matter what age or what situation, we need to be able to continually adapt. And to, even for our kids, they need to, we need to teach them how to learn on their own, to love what they're learning, and to simply love learning, right? Um, so now everybody is transitioning to um, distance learning from um, traditional classrooms. Um, and uh, some of you may already be familiar with this and some, some of you, uh, for some of you, it may be the first time to hear it, but there are two modalities of learning that is being offered now, right? Um, first is uh, the synchronous uh, approach to learning. No, synchronous means that um, classes are conducted real time, meaning uh, through video conferencing, like popularly um, Zoom is being used, um, even online messaging, and it can even involve um, a purely audio class. Um, these are these uh, synchronous um, learning uh, experience is uh, usually teacher led, so my teacher talaga na nagtuturo, no, and um, it's uh, on a set schedule, of course, um, scheduled by the school, dictated by the school, and it has a limited time. No? Um, some advantages of uh, this synchronous learning is that students will be able to interact with each other and feel closer. It feels closer to a real classroom. Kahit na naka, naka uh, video conference, nakakausap pa rin nila yung mga kaklase nila, may, may mga tao silang nakakausap. Diba? And uh, the teacher can even um, engage in uh, discussions and allow their, the students to collaborate with each other during that limited um, uh, time that uh, they are on video conference, right? Um, also, the students have the opportunity to ask questions in real time tungkol sa pinag-aaralan, right? Um, um, sa pinag-aaralan. So, uh, and the teachers can actually address those questions right away, right? Uh, the teacher can even conduct live assessments. Uh, marami nang pwedeng uh, maging uh, 
uh, online quizzes, di ba? Or, or um, they, the assessment can also be um, through online uh, graded recitations and discussions, right? Um, but there are also limitations to, to synchronous learning. And um, one of it is that, you know, not all students have an easy time learning online, di ba? Parang, um, minsan, attention span is so short, di ba? Nandiyan ka nga, pero hindi ka na nakikinig or nadidistract ka sa mga ibang bagay sa tabi-tabi. Um, a real problem is also connectivity, no? Palaging, di ba, naglalag, hindi ka makakonect. It's a real pro problem for um, a lot of us. And um, of course, uh, because we need to be online, uh, there's extra cost on purchasing your gadgets. Diba? Medyo magasto silang po ngayon. Diba? Kasi ang daming, lalo na pag maraming anak, kailangan iba-ibang gadgets ang kailangan pa, kasi sabay-sabay sila mag-aaral. Now, the difficulty of, uh, of the instructors also is a limitation. No? Sometimes even the teacher, admittedly, can have a hard time, sana at the beginning lang, no? to deliver his or her lessons during that limited um, time period uh, during uh, video conferencing. Now, let's go to the um, asynchronous learning. Uh, asynchronous means that the school provides the students with the learning materials or the packets or modules that um, they can access online. So, ang school dapat na sila ang mag-upload nito para um, ma-access ninyo and then you can download it and the, the child can study at his own time and pace. Now, these, may be, these materials um, may be um, modules or worksheets it can be curated videos, um, activities, and projects or assessments, kahit ano pong pwede nilang i-upload for the students to use when they are studying. Now, when you say it's a purely asynchronous approach, it means na walang face-to-face -face video conferencing at all during the whole school year. Now, some advantages of this um, setup is that the learners can go at their own pace and with their own schedule without the pressure of keeping up with his or her classmates. Di ba po yan naman yung problema natin sa traditional school? Yung mga iba, mabilis makaintindi, pero yung mga iba, naglalag behind. Pero wala silang choice but to keep up with the pace of the class. But with this, at least there can be mastery. The child does not have to move to the next topic if he or she has not yet mastered what he is learning. Di ba? Um, now, also, the students can um, use this, his or her schedule to do extra work, like extra research, or go to uh, YouTube and find uh, supplementary videos to help him or her understand better the lessons. No? Um, but of course, this depends on the curiosity and the initiative of the student. Now, there are also limitations to asynchronous learning. Um, Number one, I think, is that learners must exercise self-discipline, self-control, and conducting himself during school hours so he can be productive. I'm sure itong summer, yung mga anak natin palagi nasa gadgets, nag-games, nag-videos, nag sa social, um, nag, nag, uh, uh, social network, diba? Um, hindi na po dapat natin tong isama kapag nag-aaral na sila, diba? There will has to be no distractions, but... Um, and there also um, might not be immediate reinforcement or correction for work being done. Kasi kung nag-aaral mag-isa yung bata, walang nagbabantay, walang teacher na nag-check kung tama or mali ang ginagawa, hindi niya malalaman kaagad if um, he or she is um, uh, doing uh, the, the lesson correctly. Right? And uh, one other limitation is that the student might feel a little bit isolated Kasi kung wala silang kaklase, um, di ba, nakakalungkot naman kasi talaga. If you're just studying on your own, di ba, you might feel uh, isolated. And there will be apathy kasi wala kang kausap, di ba? Um, so these are the two modalities, but uh, you can also mix them. It's called uh, blended learning. And it's going, it's, it, uh, blended learning means it is a mix of synchronous and asynchronous learning. Um, I think uh, personally, uh, I like that better, you know? So going at your own pace, but yet there is social interaction in live video conferencing. Now, in choosing which modality of learning to use, do not allow yourself to be pressured by others. I think that's a very wise advice. No? Hindi porke yung kapitbahay mo o yung best friend mo, nag-aaral sa ganitong school, ikaw rin. Or, or ito yung chino, na, na, na pili niyang modality, gagaya ka din. 
I think it's smart for us to exercise wisdom and decide based on what works for you and your family right now. Um, so, you know, here are some practical tips no, for the best way to transition or to adapt. No? I think number one is really be prepared. It's very practical. Be prepared. Uh, we still have one to two months before school starts for a lot of us. Um, it's a lot of time for you to discuss with your family what direction you want to go, you know? So uh, one of the practical tips is that you choose a fixed workstation. When you sinabi natin fixed, hindi pwedeng uh, today, gusto ko nandito ako sa kitchen, bukas, nandiyan ako sa sala, di ba? Kasi um, it, it, it will not work to uh, allow your child to focus. I think during this time, um, to give them uh, the best uh, chance to succeed at uh, this distance learning, you need to now choose uh, where you want each of your children to be in your house, and that will be his or her desk already. Siyempre, to choose tayo ng isang place na wala masyadong temptation, distractions, and clutter. So, kailangan natin maglipit-lipit ng konti at magtanggal ng gamit. And we have to prepare all materials beforehand, especially supplies that may be needed. Naalala niyo siguro, pag sa school, di ba, uuwi kayo ng gabi, tapos nasa homework notebook ng anak niyo, uh, bring illustration board tomorrow. Eh, pero wala naman kayo sa bahay, so natataranta lahat, di ba? So I think it is a very wise thing to do, to buy everything that you think your child needs at the beginning of the school year. Para nandiyan na po lahat. No? So this is uh, an example of a list, you know, of course it will... Uh, you, you can tweak it uh, to cater to what your child needs at whatever level, right? Um, but I suggest that you also involve your child in choosing, in choosing uh, the materials that he wants to use. Diba? Kung gusto niya ng uh, pink na notebook, sige lang, right? And to organize his or her work, workstation by um, himself and to gather all materials also. So, para, so may responsibility yung bata. Um, another tip is um, to help uh, your child manage his herself or himself, no? You have to establish a strict schedule and routine to follow, right? Um, lalo na uh, there's a lot of uh, temptation to just uh, turn off your your schoolwork and uh, go to uh, to a game or an app or social network, right? So we have to follow uh, to establish rules, rules and schedules and routine. Uh, wag naman puro aral. Magpasok rin tayo dyan ng break, di ba? Uh, according to how, how much uh, time you think your child needs to be able to, um, you know, relax and relax the eyes, lalo na from, from, uh, from the screen, right? And to get, um, take a snack, walk around, di ba? Um, and also, at the end of the day, you can even uh, include uh, some kind of uh, physical activity, di ba? Even if it's walking outside, walking the dog, or... Even uh, working out inside the house, kung ano man ang pwedeng ipasok nyo um, sa schedule, it's ideal really to, um, to schedule it kahit na hanggang um, sleeping time para talagang uh, ma-manage niya ang sarili nila. Um, if you in involve your child in establishing these rules, he or she will have ownership and be responsible for following that rule kasi hindi lang dinikta sa kanila. Right? Um, one last uh, tip that I have, which is, I think, very important, is that um, since schools now will be using uh, learning management systems, this is called an LMS. This will be um, the way that your school will, will disseminate or send you the information and materials during the school year. Mag-upload sila dyan ng mga uh, links or um, yung mga activities, yung kung ano man ang kailangan ng, 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 um, ng sudyante, they will probably upload it in an LMS. This can be Google Classroom, it can be Schoology, whatever it is that your school will be using. I suggest that you learn it right now. Kasi para hindi na po tayo mataranta, di ba? Um, we will not be rattled um, in navigating all these buttons, ang daming buttons, may message, may may test button, ang dami kasing uh, functions kasi po ng mga LMS. So as early as now, before the school year begins, it would be ideal for, for your child, even for you, to learn this. Some schools also are, uh, allow access, the parents, give the parents access 
to um to uh, view only access to the LMS. Baka pwede nyo rin pong i-request yan so that at any time you can see um what uh, is going on in school. No? Pwede nyo rin ma-monitor yung mga anak nyo through that. Now, um so uh, the other tip that uh, I want to share is that we have to be positive and supportive, right? Um, right now, I think parents are more anxious than their children about this new setup. No, tayo yung nenerbios, eh, right? But we should not let um, let ourselves transfer our anxieties and fears to our kids because they will exhibit the same fears and negativity even before they start the school year. Ayon naman po natin yon. So we have to show the kids that we are excited and ready. Sa itago na lang natin yung kanerbisa natin sa mangyayari. Because we, I know that you can do this, this mommies and daddies, you can. So um, aside from that, um, wag tayong maging masyadong makulit. Let's not be helicopter parents. Di ba po yung helicopter, nag-hover lang sa taas palagi, nasa palagi, nasa tuktok ng ulo ng mga anak natin, uh, pinapanood lahat ng ginagawa. You know, I, we should monitor our child, yes, but let's not point out every mistake or every due date. O ginawa mo na ba to? Tinapos mo na ba yan? Wala, huwag tayong masyado makulit kasi po baka naman um, it, will, uh, not it will not benefit uh, our children. You know, the first few weeks or months will be an adjustment period for all of us, not just the, your child, not just the student, even the parents and even the teachers. So let's be patient and guide our children with love and support, like uh, Ms. Chichi said. Right? We have to adapt and troubleshoot and learn together. Let's take this time, you know, as they said, to build the relationship with your kids. Ayo naman natin na stuck na nga tayo lahat sa bahay, tapos nagaaway away pa lahat, diba? Let's take this time to build our relationships with our kids. Now, um, the children can also, of course. Um, feel stressed and worried and anxious and overwhelmed with this new setup. So I, I uh, let us encourage the children to talk about this, their feelings. Diba? Hindi lang naman tayo yung pwede mag -rant. Let's allow our kids to rant also or to share. Talk about his or her day over dinner, which is usually when everybody's together and not busy anymore. We can, they can, uh, allow, you can allow them to share their highs and lows and allow them to vent. Diba? Uh, magreklamo, diba? But not just reklamo, we can, you, as a family, you can talk about what will be the solutions or how will you will address the concerns. Diba? Wag lang tayo sermon ng sermon. Let's arrive at the solution together if it's possible. If not, let's still listen. Kasi iba rin yung um, nakaka-release uh, ng tension ang mga bata. Yeah. Let's empower them to be more independent and self-reliant by trying to help them arrive at their own um, solutions, if possible. Huwag tayong um, magdikta palagi ng solusyon kasi hindi matututo yung mga bata to um, address their own problems and to troubleshoot their own problems. Now, uh, I think one last practical tip I have is that, you know, if you have friends um, with the same age, uh, with kids of the same age, no, or they, whether they go to the same school, they're uh, about the same level, I, I encourage you to allow them to collaborate amongst themselves. Maski na hindi pare-pareho yung inaaral nila, it doesn't have to be a collaboration of academic um, um, subjects. It can be non-academic. You can uh, They can check each other's work even or um, come up with creative projects together, produce instructional videos, uh, or uh, you know, ang galing na mga bata ngayon mag-edit, di ba? Wala na silang ginagawa ngayon, kundi mag-video, mag-edit, mag-tiktok, kung ano-ano. They can, they can do that. It's also a, 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 a creative way to, to learn. No? So in closing, um, you know, I, I want you to uh, think about really what are your objectives for your children um, for their schooling this school year. You know? Do you want them to just conform and comply to the schooling system? Or do you want them to discover their own strengths, their interests, their giftings the way God designed them to be? You know, do you want to focus on just the academics and being the best student in class? Diba? But you know, this can actually lead to burnout and fatigue. Diba? Pero actually, ngayon, this year, wala ng honor system according to DepEd. Kasi how do you monitor diba, everybody? Wala ng um, 
uh, honor system, which is good. It relieves the parents, even the, the children of that pressure of always having to be on the top, you know? So do you want them to, to um, your child to love what he is doing and to discover that learning at home can be fun, can be creative, it can be successful. So write your own goals for your family, for your kids, your goals and objectives, right? Um, and, and um, you know, if, uh, if you want your child also to be well-rounded and, and uh, balanced, now is really the perfect time to teach the life practical skills. Life, life skills ng mga bata, di ba? Even if you are feeling na OOC, mga mamis dyan, na OOC, kasi hindi mali, ma, magaling magwalis yung mga anak ninyo, ma, ma, maalikabok pa din, or na OOC sa cleanliness, or being organized, and you wanting to be done your way all the time because it's quicker or it's better, di ba? You need to set aside that impulse and allow your child to be involved. You know? Let them share in the chores, Diba? Of course, nakaschedule yan. Hindi pwedeng gulpi di gulat. Oh, ikaw maglalaba ngayon. Diba? Schedule natin para alam nila what to expect in their schedule. And involve them in certain decisions that need to be made. And involve them even in um, taking turns you know, to be a leader uh, with certain things in the house. Diba? Oh, ikaw yung laundry leader. Ikaw ang kitchen leader. Ikaw ang uh, vacuum leader. Kung ano man ang, um, ang job nila for the day. No? So, you know, during this whole pandemic, this is not really the time, you know, to just focus on, ano, uh, your child being the top of his class, di ba? As I said, wala nang honor-honor ngayon. But let's do our best to help our children succeed in reaching their individual goals in this new normal. Individual goals kasi iba-iba naman tayo. We all are not different paces. We all have different giftings. So let us focus on those. Those individual goals. Let's not and let's not forget to teach our kids with love. As they said earlier, diba? it's really out of love that we are able to successfully um, parent our children. Let's teach with love, mo motivated by love and um, patience, even respect, understanding, generosity, and wisdom, and so many more good things that you know, God taught us. Right? So you know, I leave you with. This quote from Martin Luther King Jr., which is a very good reminder of what's very important. And it says, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. So it's really not just in intelligence, di ba po? It's really character. And I know you all know that if you read the Bible, how we will um, build up our character in the way God wants us. Right? So um, let us lift up all our, you know, all our concerns and anxieties and everything to, uh, of, in, in this new adventure. Let's call it an adventure huh, of distance learning. And trust that God will lead us and provide us with the grace and love to get us this school year together. Mm -hmm. Kung may mga tanong po kayo, we will be happy to answer that. You know, as I said, I'm not an expert, but I think 26 years of teaching um, allows me to maybe go, uh, give my two cents worth. No? Um, so thank you so much for listening and thank you for giving me this opportunity to share a little something with you tonight. I am just done. Wow, thank you, Sherry. 26 years of teaching na. Wow. No? Yeah. We won't ask you na your age. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, ano ba yun? Graduating. <laughs> No, but thank you. No, that was very rich for me. I know, you know, punks. <laughs> I call my wife punks. No? <laughs> uh, for me, punks. what got me with uh, when Sherry was speaking was that I know when she said, "What is your objective for the school year or for teaching your kids?" No, and I realized oh, nga, no, that because when we ask that question to ourselves, "What is our objective?" It can release us of the pressure primarily because when we think about our objective for our children, it should be more than just academics and information. Mm -hmm. Because again, education is not just about information or ACADs, but it's really about formation. That's why when Sherry was expounding, oh, pwede pa lang kasama yung chores doon. It's good to talk about their experiences. It's good to talk about the strengths now is the perfect opportunity to see the strengths of our children. 
Kasi again, it's more than just sciences, math, and languages. No? It is really the overall formation of our kids. And that's what we should be really thinking of, most especially as we approach the online education platform. Now, having said that, all the rest, I believe, can follow. No? Uh, yun nga eh, if, if, if thinking about the character formation, the life lessons that our children can have, it can somehow release us from the pressure of just focusing on academics and information. Ikaw? Yeah, uh, I like the practical tips that you shared, Sherry. Teacher Sherry. <laughs> yeah. As a mom, uh, I like those things that you said about uh, being prepared and being supportive. Yun, medyo mahirap rin for other parents like us. Yung, yung pagiging ano, uh, patient and being supportive every time. Pero yun nga, it, it's an eye-opener for for us also that uh, it's a reminder for all of us that we should always be uh, kasi tayong best teachers for our kids, right? That's true. So, uh, it's really important that you gave us those practical tips. And uh, in your school, I want to ask in your school, how do you, how will you conduct the the online distance learning? Like the scheduling because you gave us a uh a sample of of the schedule right and I, yes. i'm sure a lot of our parents viewers now who are enrolled in a traditional school a regular school are concerned with that how to do the schedule every day uh, so Sherry Pan, that I, we know that you've been you currently have a preschool and also a grade school so, hmm. paano yung scheduling dun sa, ano, dun sa, dun sa school mo? Oo. So, magkaiba yung preschool sa uh, big school, no? Actually, preschool is a little bit more difficult. It actually requires more parent um, uh, work from the parents. Kasi, syempre, hindi naman mo rin nung mag-navigate ng gadgets ang mga small kids, no? But, uh, with our preschool, uh, we do have... Uh, live sessions pa din. Kasi importante pa rin sa mga bata na nakikita nila yung mga kaklase nila, nakakapag circle time tayo sila together. There is still that social interaction even through the screen. Uh, but it is limited to about 30 minutes and not every day. Although the kinder is every day kasi yun talaga, nag-aaral talaga sila. No? And everything, all the other uh, materials are sent uh, to the individual parents and they are, uh, and they uh, print these no? and then uh, ginagawa nila with the parents at home pero at their own time so pag nagwo-work ang parents pwede namang after work diba or um some yung iba sa gabi it really depends on the schedule of the parents no um and then there are some uh, videos yung mga original videos from uh, the parents uh, and the teachers uh, for um demo ng science or even uh, Zumba, tuwang-tuwa yung mga bata bag nakikita dyan, nakakatuwa sila. Kasi um, ginagaya talaga nila ang nangyayari sa video. Now, for the older kids, I guess it's easier because they know how to read and they can navigate. No? Um, but uh, the, our school um, has uh, set uh, live videos also, uh, um, Zoom classes. Now, but this is not uh, more of teaching it's really more of discussion and clarifying things about uh, the lessons that were um, sent to them previously. Ang, kasi ang hirap, pag limited yung time mo, tapos doon mo pa ituturo, uh, maubos na ka ng time to actually interact with the kids. No? So I think that's important when you do video conferencing is that you try to extract what you think, what the kids have learned instead of you downloading everything to the kids. Kasi yan pwede mo na isend. Diba? Um, and there should be... It, it, yeah. Let's not do this the 9 to 5, yung 7 to 4 o'clock, di ba yung traditional school, ganyan. Lupay-pay na yung teacher, lupay-pay rin ang mga sadyante, kawawa naman. So that's why um, uh, it's important no, for, the, for, uh, for the materials to be sent online so that they can have time to do this uh, at their own pace. Uh, we have uh, one day, extra day on Fridays that we don't have live classes so that the kids can have time to catch up on their work. Kasi baka nga hindi, na nila, hindi nila natapos, Inaka, nakatulog pala sila pagkatapos ng uh, Zoom class. So meron silang extra time within the week 
to to do their other activities. So I think it's important um, that the kids have um, time to learn for themselves and even time, as I said, to do other things with their peers. No, wag natin silang budbura ng dami daming trabaho. Nice, Sherry. Thank you for mentioning that. No, I think for us also uh, having <clears throat> homeschooled our kids, what we and then. After a period of homeschool, we sent our children to ano to the regular school. When Sherry mentioned about the time to let's say after work with parents, uh, and then they would be able to process it with their children, I think that's key for us as parents now, given this distance learning. Yeah. Yes, the school will still have their task of mm-hmm. educating the children, but in the same way. I believe the processing coming from us as parents is very important. Dahil tayo yung magko-contextualize sa mga anak natin, sa mga natutunan nila, whether it is academics or physics or character formation, whatever it is, we can be the ones to process it with them. And sa totoo yeah. lang, the learning of the children is not just found on the teaching moment itself. Doon mm-hmm. sa sinasabi ni Sherry kanina na synchronous part, no? In fact, doon makukuha yon, doon sa processing. And who else or who better to do that, sabi nga ni Ging kanina, is that tayo as parents because we are the best teacher for our children. And ang, I think nga one of the advantages that we have now, no, sabi rin ni Chi yun kanina, is that as parents, now we have the opportunity to teach our children how to learn by themselves as well. Kasi gano'n naman talaga in real life, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pag tumanda yung mga bata, mawawala na yung mga teacher, and they have to really yeah. keep on learning. No? Mm-hmm. So yeah, at this point, we would like to call in Pastor Xavier and Tina. And, and again, also Chi-Chi. Yes, yes Chi, our, our first our, speaker a while ago, mm-hmm. Chi-Chi Tanko. For our question and answer. Yeah, we'll proceed to our question and answer. Yun. All right, uh, questions. <laughs> Marami nang nag-send ng questions. Right, Tina? Yes. Uh, thank you, Miss Cherry, for that very ano, helpful uh, mga tips and you know, for doing this ano, school at home. So ngayon, for our question and answer, the first question natin is, so what if I am not a patient parent? How can I teach or homeschool my child? I can only imagine the pressure, uh, pressure in work, then I need to teach my daughter. So yun, how can we help her Miss Chichi, siguro, maybe you can share. Um, um, actually, maganda po as a parent, no? uh, i-prepare na nga po natin yung mind natin, tsaka yung uh, um, ating heart na talagang uh, bago yung season na to. So talagang kailangan magpaghandaan na. At the same time po, siguro kailangan makita rin natin kung ano yung nag-trigger sa atin para mapaghandaan. Kung halimbawa, alam natin na umiinit yung ulo natin pag medyo kapo sa oras. So, medyo sacrifice lang po ng konti, nagigising ng konti ng maaga, ganyan. Or pag medyo napapansin natin, mainit yung ulo natin pag makalat. So, pwede po natin when we have older kids, we can ask them, oh, can you clean up after yourself? Ganyan. So, ang mahalaga po, yung expectations din natin sa sarili natin at sa mga anak natin, yung realistic din po para hindi yung parang everything is uh, planchado lahat at tayo mismo na recognize din naman po na ang mga bata rin po kasi, they, they adjust to us as long as nakikita nila na uh, nagtatry din tayo our best, doing our best. So, yun. I hope that helped. Thank so, you. Sherry, you have an answer to that. Um, maybe we shouldn't put too much pressure on ourselves also, no? Mahirap maging teacher parent. Mahirap nga maging parent, eh. Ikaw pa magtuturo. Yes. So, actually, in the beginning, you have to ask yourself if you have a choice and if you're able to make a choice, pa, diba? Uh, gusto mo bang talagang mag-homeschool? Or gusto mo ipasok na lang sa ibang sa school ang uh, for distance learning para yung school na lang bahala? Diba? Magmamonitor ka na lang instead of ikaw ang magtuturo. You really have to take that into consideration. But if you really have no choice but to homeschool, you know, don't put too much pressure on yourself. I used to homeschool my two older kids. 
Yeah, teacher na ako sa lagay na yan. Pero at the end of the day, sometimes, I'll tell them, okay, you're dismissed. And then when I close the door, iyak ako sa kwarto. <laughs> sa sobrang pagod or frustrated or naasar ako, di ba? Um, pero it's really all in a day's work. Ganun talaga. So, but if you catch yourself in a, maybe in a, in an argument, nagkasagutan kayo ng alak nyo, no, at the end of the day, what's really important is that you restore. If you really, mm-hmm. kung ikaw yung pumitik, di ba? Ikaw yung nagalit, mag-sorry ka sa anak mo. You know, sometimes I do that. I'm sorry, I shouted, you know, I wasn't supposed to, I just got frustrated. Maybe next time we can do it this way or, you know, um, I think communication is important and that restoration at the end of the day, you know, when something like that happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really valuable. Thank you, no? G, uh, Sherry, no? Uh, kasi nga, Uh, we, ano naman talaga eh, the reality is, uh, talagang magkakaroon pa rin ng ano, magiging impatient pa naman talaga tayo. Oh, Pero I like what you for said. For sure. <laughs> no? It's about restoration, it's being vulnerable to our kids, showing the example to them. No? So, wow, galing na na. Sige. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. maybe next question na tayo. Hey, next ano? question. Uh, how to encourage my spouse <laughs> to be involved on how to discipline my child? Yun ang tanong, second question natin. So, gusto mo tayo sumagot na? Sige, may sagot ka ba? <laughs> Paano mo ba ako ini-encourage? How to encourage my spouse? Because <laughs> I remember you were saying na ikaw yung, when we were homeschooling, you were the one doing the the things that you love. Right? Recess, lunch. <laughs> But kidding aside, hindi naman totoo yun. Kasi I remember when we were homeschooling, siya yung math and ano, PE. Right? I remember that. So, during our homeschooling time, kasi ako hindi ako masyadong magaling sa math. So, I gave the math to him. And then, yung um, ano, uh, PE, like our older son, si Jaime, he was into triathlon that time. So, it's just but best that is going to be our PE teacher, PE coach. So parang ganon, we, we were able to sit down and analyze which is for him the best things that he would teach and for me, what are the subjects that I would be able to teach. So I think encouraging your spouse is talking about it, yeah. communication. Yeah. That's the, I think that's the good part of that, yung having that communication, talking about it. Hindi pwede yung, ay, ikaw na lang. Uh-huh. Right? So, this is really a, a husband and wife talk and then later on, it's a parents talk. Yeah. Right? Yes, I guess in this new milieu of uh, distance learning, whether you are homeschooling or you enroll your children in a regular school, it's still good to be able to, sabi nga ging, no, to talk as a couple and see ano ba talaga yung mga objectives niyo kagaya nga ng sabi ni Sherry mm-hmm. and based from those objectives you can divide the work no depending na on your context yes. if sinong mas umuwi ng maaga sino mas flexible sa work if both of you are working sino yung gagawa ng processing in the evening no so it's really a matter of being able to work it out as a couple and end of the day I believe it will be beneficial also for yes. our marriage when we're able to talk about it Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Maybe for the other questions, Pastor Xavier Tina. Yes. Yeah. Uh, meron dito ng ano? Uh, questions. Uh, what if both parents have work? How can we pas- facilitate uh, homeschooling or school at home? Mm-hmm. Yan yung mga usually question ng mga ane, eh, mga nagwork sila. Ah, uh, da- nagwork sila. Tapos they need to teach pa their children at home. So maybe you can answer po, Miss Chichi or Miss Cherry. What can you advise sa mga parents na nag-work sila at the same time? They need to teach their kids at home. Uh, I think, no, for the bigger kids, um, when I used to homeschool my kids, I was also running the preschools and uh, even helping my husband with his uh, business. So uh, I, fi- I found myself, myself um, once in a while to uh, be out of the house. So what I would do is uh, during the weekend, I will actually already prepare a checklist for the kids. 
no? Na checklist na nakalagay na diyan kung on this day, do this chapter, answer this page. Uh, and then there's always a tick box. I would always put a tick box so that at the end of the day when I come home, if the kids are already playing or whatever, I will go home and check their checklist. And then we go through it quickly together and I see which ones are uh, which where which uh, answers they got wrong and then we quickly go over it. Um, kung talagang puro mali, then the next day, adjust ka ng uh, checklist mo to, to, do, uh, to redo the whatever uh, was um, assigned for the day. So it, you, you can do that so that um, you, you, can, you can monitor na lang the kids. But for younger kids, syempre mas challenging, no? Baka you might have to do it, sadly, a little bit after work. Pero huwag na lang... Maybe you can choose one subject a day for the smaller kids, di ba? Or maybe spend half a day on your Saturdays kasi wala na tayong choice, hindi naman pwedeng bahala na, di ba? So find a schedule that will work for you. Um, but don't, don't compromise naman your family time. So, you know, find a smart schedule that will work for you. And if you have to extend uh, the school year a little bit, why not? If you're homeschooling anyway, I think you have a little bit of leeway to finish later than the others. Scheduling lang po talaga ang ano, mm-hmm. ang key. Kasi yeah. and, and most especially naman, di ba, yung we're not really after the academics, more on yung relationship natin sa mga yes. anak natin. Kasi kung pupush natin na ma, ma, ma set yung schedule or ma, ma finish yung schedule for the day, na, na compromise naman yung, yung relationship natin sa kanila. So at the end of the day talaga, uh, it's, what matters is yung tayo sa kanila, sa mga anak mo. Uh, good news rin po kasi ang sabi ng DepEd is pwedeng bawasan ang laman ng school year this year kasi talagang hirap tayo late na tayo mag-uumpisa it, it, sabi nila 200 days of school no? pero if you count the, all the weekdays kulang na kulang so they said talagang ang pinaka basic minimum ano talaga learning requirements so we really don't have to pressure ourselves with too much this year kasi I'm sure lahat tayo nag adjust dito. Yung students, yes. yung kids, lahat nag nag adjust Miss Chichi, you might want to add pa? Uh, yun nga, siguro realistic expectations okay. din. Kasi kung halimbawa medyo uh, teenager na yan, madali na yan maiwanan. Di ba? Um, yeah. Just make sure na lahat nakaprepare, na nakaschedule na, tas consistency. Yun nga lang, pag uwi mo ng bahay, uh, you'll have to check on it. Kasi ikaw din yung teacher. So, ikaw yung sa feedback. So, to check mo yan. At the same time, I'm sure kung halimbawa, meron namang provider dyan or kung meron siyang uh, system, yung school for them to check, uh, it will work out itself. Ng, uh, do, ang importante lang actually, uh, yung expectations clear dun sa anak, ganyan. Tapos yung sa magulang, uh, monitor na lang and then uh, support kasi I'm sure kung teenager yan, medyo kailangan din ng uh, emotional support yan eh. Kasi wala nang masyadong uh, face-to-face with the friends, ganun, yung mga ganong dynamics. Diba? So, i-check mo na lang kung saan kailangan ng support ng anak mo. So, yun. I think uh, this question naman, ano, uh, for Miss Cherry, upon enrollment, are the learning modality asynchronous, as- asynchronous, Uh, blended or uh, automatically presented by the school to parents to choose from? Actually, uh, at this time, supposedly, no, the schools are already uh, should be explaining to the parents kung anong ma-offer nila. But the sad truth is, some schools have actually not released any explanations to the parents yet. Diba? Hindi pa, maski sila hindi pa rin nila alam kasi it's really not that easy To, tra- to switch from traditional classroom learning to mm. online. Hindi naman ganun kadali yun na, o oh, magbubukas lang ako ng Zoom, okay na. ba? Diba? Ang daming preparation and adjustments needed. Right? Um, so you have to ask your school. Um, meron akong alam na ibang schools na uh, you can actually choose. May two pack- packages sila. It's either you, you do the um, synchronous, ba? Diba? Or you go purely asynchronous. I think iba pa nga yung tuition nila for, for each. Diba? Siyempre, mas, ma, mas mura pag purely asynchronous. Kasi talagang ibibigay nila sa lahat ng materyales, bahala na kayo mag-execute for the whole school year. 
'di ba? So mm-hmm. you have to ask your schools because uh I I don't know at this point uh, which ones talaga what other schools are offering. Yeah. Grabe no, uh, ngayon talaga uh, very uh, challenging. Uh, actually I, even the in the public school no uh, uh, our campus uh, missionaries they did a brigada escuela while where they gave, gave uh, away ban papers. Uh, mm-hmm. sa mga schools dahil ang gagawin ng mga public school ipiprint nila lahat ng modules nila for those who have not or for those who are yung walang uh, access uh, yes. to internet they will give them the modules and then uh, through barangay ganun so parang ano uh, in this ano talaga season uh, very ano mahirap talaga so very important for us to know Uh, again no yung uh, binanggit nga ni Ms. Cherry to ask our ano mga schools ano ba yung ino-offer talaga nila. Yeah, that's right. So let's proceed to another question. Um, the question here is what are the things to look out for so that we can easily transition from a teacher to a parent and vice versa in a school day. So it's yeah. Oh, maybe si Chi could uh, answer, no? Chi, okay. ikaw, what do you think? Transition from teachers. Actually, ano nga po eh, um, it's quite difficult, even pag homeschooling ka, yung to tell the difference between when you're parenting, mm-hmm. kasi iko-correct mo na minsan yung anak mo pag may nakita kang character na that needs to be developed. Tapos minsan naman, pag merong kang nakita na opportunity na i-grab mo, for you to be able to teach halimbawa sa math dun sa mga lower grades or oh, this is that's why addition is important so nagsuswing i find myself oh, personally i find myself swinging from one function to the other pero at the end of the day if choosing to teach a life lesson or just choosing to enjoy my kid kasi meron naman kaming schedule ng homeschooling eh So, ay binibigay ko na sa kanila yung time na ma-enjoy naman nila ako as their mother. So, yun lang po yung sa akin personally. So, Sige, yeah, Chichi, naririnig din namin yung ibang students mo dyan. Because, ay, oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Chichi, may alaga din na five dogs na hinong school, ano? <laughs> no, but really, I agree with Chi, no? It, sometimes it's hard to draw that line primarily because as parents we are also the teachers of our kids okay. and when we say kids learning or education again as we mentioned earlier it's not just about information and academics it's really the overall formation of our children so as parents we are always the teachers of our children mm-hmm. whether it is an academic lesson or a life lesson mm-hmm. a character lesson whatever it may be no we are always teachers no of our children. Yeah. Uh, sige, next question naman. Ito, maganda to. What is the, siguro maybe to para kay Teacher Sherry, no? Uh-huh. What is the optimal time no? na mataas ang learning retention ng mga bata? They're looking for the time of day and length ng study time. Well, of course, the answer to that is in the morning, no? Pag fresh na fresh pa yung utak ng mga bata, You know, after they take a bath, brush their teeth, have a good breakfast, it's important, no? Umpisahan na natin. Kasi alam mo naman natin, pag hapon na, ang dami nang pwedeng mangyari, ba? Diba? Ang dami nang uh, gustong gawin ng mga bata, gusto na maglaro at lahat. So in the morning, really, when your mind is fresh and you just woke up, it's the best time to to study. And after lunch, syempre, ba? Diba, pag kumakain tayo, lalo na pag napadami yung kanin, inaantok tayo pagkatapos ng lunch, di ba? you should schedule some kind of physical activity, move up, music and movement, or sige, maglakad ka sa labas sandali, or do something to wake up the mind and the body again before they start schooling. Now, you know, let's not, uh, ako, for me, uh, for, for our, at least for our schedule for the school year, we really end at 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. No? Um, we have one hour chunks, and uh, everything else is independent work. Kasi nakaka, nakaka-umay rin na nasa harap ka ng screen the whole day. Diba? Hindi rin maganda sa mga, not, not even for us, lalo na sa mga bata. Diba? 
So, um, you know, schedule your time so that you end early. So there's other, there's family time and time for other activities pa po. Sherry, the guy, sige. I'm sorry. I'd like to add lang, yes. some more asking, uh, for physical education, how will you do it in your progressive school, in your big school? How will uh, you do the PE? Mm-mm. Actually, ano na yan? Zoom time na talaga yan. Like in the preschool, we have our teacher who does online uh, Zumba Kids, no? Zumba Kids instructor kasi siya. And engage na engage ng mga bata. So you can actually do it. Also, ganyan, naka... Pwede mami. Pwede kasama oh, mami dyan. Mami, diba? Huwag naman, naman Zumba. Baka sabi ng kids, ya ka diri, ma'am. <laughs> diba? Pwede silang crossfit or kung ano man ang uso sa kanila ngayon, diba? Pwedeng pwede. And if you do it, I, I see my my other daughter doing that with uh, one of her good friends even during this during summer, no? Nag-workout sila together with a mat and everything. Kasi wow. mas nakakainganyo, di ba? Kung may kasabay ka. Kasi kung wala kang kasabay, ang dami excuse not to do it. Hmm. Di ba? So, pwede pa din. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have to be, um, if, if you're doing asynchronous learning, you can schedule that with the friends of your, of uh, the kids of your friends, di ba? But find a group that can do it on a regular basis. So, it's part of your schedule already. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Teacher Sherry and uh, Miss Chi, no? We would like to ask this question to both of you. Ganda tong question. Is it better to enroll to a homeschool institution than the regular school turned school at home considering the difference in curriculum and tuition fees? Parents will teach to both anyway. So, I guess we, I know. What about Chi or Sherry, no? What can you say about, or what can you, ano? Uh, what's your answer with the question? Again, I'll repeat, ano? Uh, <laughs> is it better to enroll to a homeschool institution than the regular school turn school at home, considering the difference in curriculum and vision fees? Parents will teach to both anyway. I guess because I think this is more of the context of the right. availability of parents, no? Yes. Uh, what, what can you say about the question? Um, I guess po kasi it depends on the situation of the family. Yes. Uh, pag ganyan kasi, yung may strength yung bawat situation kasi may yung strength ng provider, uh, meron siyang system in place already na naka naka uh, suit, suited talaga for homeschooling. So, yun po yung maganda doon. Meron din naman po na uh, bagong innovations na maaaring ginagawa yung traditional school na, lalo na po kung galing yung bata sa traditional school, tapos uh, biglang babaguhin iho-homeschool. So, uh, each family po kasi may kailangan nilang mag pros and cons para malaman nila kung ano yung best setup. And at the same time po, mag-decide sila based on their budget also kasi kailangan realistic. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Chi. What about you, Sherry? I, I know you've been a homeschooler also and you are a, an educator. You have a uh, grade school and a preschool. For you, and what are the circumstances na, let's say, if you are like this as parents in your home, best for you is homeschool. And what are the situations where in best is uh, the regular school turned school at home? Yes. So I think you know, at this point, parents, you don't have a choice but to do your research. You have to research what is available. Because there are uh, homeschooling arms na yes, you are enrolled with them for homeschooling, but you are also the decide ng curriculum, mo, ng schedule, mo, ng scope and sequence. If you can, why not? Diba? But there are some homeschooling arms, I think, now that actually offer some live uh, classes. No? I think uh, they're compulsed into different groups. I've heard about that. Um, so you're, it's like you're homeschooling, but there are, uh, it's a blended. No? Meron silang time to meet as a group. Diba? Um, what's nice rin naman about being enrolled in a school is that the school ideally is supposed to give you a set schedule and they are in charge of teaching, of uh, schedule, uh, scheduling the lessons for the whole school year. So talagang magiging role ng parent. 
is to monitor and to make sure na nag-aaral yung mga anak nyo na nandyan siya sa table niya kapag 8 o'clock na at kailangan na mag-aral. Diba? So it's really your choice, you know, how, how much involvement um, can you afford to give? Diba? Or how much, how much do you not want to be involved? Kasi busy ka or wala kang patience. So it's it's really up to the parents um uh, it, it's really the parents uh decision. So you really have to do your research kasi marami ng combination ngayon. Schools are um being creative that way and daming option, you know. So I think that's something to think about before you make your decision. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you Miss Cherry and Miss Key. Uh again no, uh, very you know, helpful for us uh, especially uh, mm. sa mga parents no uh, na magbabago na yung uh, sitwasyon nila in their homes uh, doing school uh, even i believe no uh, as we continue no to teach our children let's not forget no uh, the the foundation that uh, Miss T uh, shared a while ago about how we can uh, be a parent teacher while uh, kumaga parent tapos teacher ka at the same time and uh, very important yung heart no may mga actually may mga questions pa again no thank you for those who ask uh, questions and may mga iba iniisip natin paano na uh, baka kasi online eh pero namang nilang hanapin yung sagot no uh, through internet yung, uh, kumbaga paano natin i-manage yun. but of course no yun nga kailangan tuturuan mo yung heart so papasok ka naman dun sa heart ng ng bata so minsan ganun eh uh, and then alam natin kung ano yung academic and then ano rin alam din natin kung ano naman yung character formation. So very important no as a as a parent teacher. Thank you so much for ano for sharing your wisdom to us Miss Yuchi and Miss Cherry. So yan if you have any more questions you can uh, email us or message us sa Facebook namin yan we uh, we're flashing our ano our uh, emails and our Facebook account. So if you have uh, further questions or you need you need help on how to navigate through this uh, season of being a parent and a teacher, you can uh, email us if you have any questions or um, inquiries. Pa. So yeah. So for now, um, we would also like to pray for uh, for Miss Chichi right now. Uh, thank you, Miss Chichi, for for sharing us lang wisdom mo and how to be a parent teacher. So I'd like to pray for you. All right, let's pray. Um, Lord, uh, thank you, God, for the life of uh, Miss Chichi, Lord God. As uh, she shared, Lord God, uh, her experiences, Lord God, and even her wisdom, Lord, uh, for us as mga parents, God. I pray, Lord, that uh, it helps us, Lord, on how we can uh, continue, Lord, to uh, parent our children, God, and even uh, teach our children, Lord. Uh, academically, even in this uh, new season of uh, na nararanasan namin. Lord, I, I pray also, God, that uh, you would bless them. Even uh, Pastor Miko, Lord, as they uh, continue, Lord God, to uh, Lord uh, teach their children also. Uh, continue to uh, protect them, uh, provide for them anything that they need, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, uh, for uh, the Tanko family, Lord. Today they are a blessing, Lord God, to many people. Please be us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, uh, uh, also, ano, I'd like to pray then, ano, Pastor Jansen, for the parents also uh, yes. na, na nakasama natin ngayon. Lord, I pray also, God, for the parents, Lord. May they continue, Lord God, to uh, uh, acquire knowledge and wisdom, Lord God, mm-hmm. coming uh, from you and even from uh, the life experiences, Lord God. May they continue, Lord God, to have that heart, Lord God, uh, of uh, uh, seeing their children, Lord God, as a reward, as a blessing coming mm-hmm. from you, God. I pray, Lord, that uh, the situation uh, may not uh, dictate them, Lord, of uh, who they are as the parent, Lord. Uh, but uh, also, Lord God, may they uh, continue to see, Lord God, in a positive way, Lord God, uh, how uh, you created uh, this or how you uh, created them, Lord God, created us, Lord, to be a parent, Lord God. Mm-hmm. I also pray, Lord, that uh, we will uh, continue to manage everything at home. Uh, at work and even at uh, doing a, uh, school at home God uh, bless all the parents right now Dave also like to pray for teacher Sherry thank you for allowing us to give in your wisdom tonight teacher Sherry 
like to pray for you. Thank you, Lord, for the life of Teacher Sherry, praying that you will choose to use speech that will always glorify you, Lord. May you always fill her heart with your spirit and your truth so that what overflows from her mouth will always be words of life, especially to her students. Lord, I'm praying also that you will always enable her to share words of hope, health, encouragement, and life to people around her. Thank you that you will uh, continue to provide wisdom, strength, and knowledge as she continues to be an effective educator, love and joy and peace as she continues to be a loving wife and nurturing mom. Thank you, Lord, for Teacher Sherry again, for your protection for her life and for, for her whole family in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. We'll pray for the kids, our kids. I know uh, we're logged on kasi nga concerned din tayo, no? not just for us, yes. but even for the learning or education of our kids. So Lord, we thank you for this season, Lord. Lord, you said in your word for us to give thanks in every circumstance. And God, we pray, Lord, that even in this time, we'll be able to teach our kids, but not just, Lord, uh, academics, Lord God, or information, but help us to teach and be in charge of the overall formation of our children. Mm-hmm. God, we pray that we'll be able to point our children to you. And Lord, help them, Lord, by giving them wisdom, giving them patience, resilience, Lord God. And God, we thank you, Lord God, that even at this time, more than just the, the schooling and academics, God, that they would know you more and bring glory to you with their lives. Mm-hmm. All these things we ask, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. By the way, we would like to, I know, no? uh, I know uh, this has been a couple of uh, coffee talks na rin, na iba-iba yung topics natin. In fact, on our next coffee talk webinar, it will be on July 11, 7 p.m., it will be about enhanced marriage during the quarantine. Again, uh, it will be on July 11 of the same site dito sa Victory Santa Rosa and you can invite your friends as well. Wow! Pastor Xavier, Tina, this has been a full, no? not just hour but more than, no, no? more than an hour but really full and rich. Thank you again, Teacher Sherry and Chi Chi. Thank you very much. Thank you also, Tina and Pastor Save for being with us. In this webinar. Uh, thank you uh, again. Uh, even uh, for those who are uh, or who, those who watch us and even uh, join us uh, webinar natin ngayon. Uh, again, no, thank you sa inyong lahat. Uh, we hope and pray that you learn a lot no, uh, in uh, this season ng webinar or in this webinar. And uh, again, continue to attend our services, uh, worship services every Sunday. Uh, just like our page, uh, Victory Santa Rosa, and then uh, you will be notified. No, yung mga services schedule natin every Sunday. And if you want to have a community also of uh, parents who do uh, 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 school at home also, uh, marami po tayong mga groups where, where we can uh, help you. Mga grupo ng mga couples, mga parents, para at least uh, mas makita natin, no? mas matulungan natin. And even if you feel like nahirapan kayo uh, the way you lead or parent your children, meron tayong mga iba-ibang mga parents na grupo para at least na-unload kayo or even uh, someone will uh, encourage you. So again, no, thank you uh, everyone. All right. Again, for your questions, before as we end, no, if you have still questions, we'll be glad to answer them. You can uh, uh, email. Yeah, email or uh, send a message our speakers directly or you can here we will post a uh, uh, question and answer post dito sa FB so that you can I know so that you can still continue to ask your questions again mm-hmm. good evening everyone God bless you all good night good night, good night. Good night everyone thank you thank you